That's a good girl. Good girl, Finny. Good girl. Yes. Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Juicy JJ Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Right, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. Is it two o'clock? 2.18. So when I've done this, I'm going to take this little one out. And uh, yeah, so that's... That's the plan. It's been a lovely day today, but I've been very sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Today. I have days like that sometimes. When I'm just very sleepy. You know? It's kind of, I could just literally just fall asleep so easily. Just closing my eyes and I probably nod off. Which means I'm going to have to try and keep my eyes open. But then the problem is, you know, as we all know, when you're relaxed, or lying down or sitting down, and you don't, you know, you don't need your eyes for anything. And you try and keep them open. It's like that whole thing of, oh, and just, it almost does the reverse. Then you end up falling asleep. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Psychology, strange. The mind, especially my mind, very, very strange thing. So I don't even know. Uh, generally, I'm not studied psychology as part of my degree when I did the counselling degree. I've studied psychology books and stuff like that since I was... Oh, the first psychological book I read was the life story of Sigmund Freud, which was when I was 17 probably, maybe 18. So 1988, maybe 89. So it's a while back. And since then I've studied, I really got into the psychology really probably late 90s I started reading about uh, I got into Carl Rogers I, I know Carl Rogers you know he's the he's kind of like the godfather of counselling he's the he's the Bruce Lee of counselling as it were you know if, if you think about the most famous counsellor of the Western world, and this probably would be Carl Rogers. Uh, he's he would be on the the reading list and the subject list of every counselling course. I'm guessing. I mean, he was predominant on mine because I was I for the first two years of my degree course, I was studying person-centered counselling, which was Carl Rogers counselling I mean he used to call it client centred I think to start with and anyway so yeah just weird I don't know why I started thinking about that I, sp I suppose I suppose it's because I've got my degree coming up and it's weird I just got this little ting of ting little tingle of kind of looking forward to it yeah Anyway, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll talk about that today, but before I proceed, I've really got a lot of people to say thank you to, um, because it was my birthday yesterday, so now it's the 27th of August, yesterday the 26th of August was my f birthday, <laughs> I nearly said my, my age, I'm now getting to the point where I don't want to say my age anymore. Even though I've been talking about, you know, leading up to getting to becoming 54 for about a month. 
in the hope of getting some birthday cards. Oh dear. I ended up, you know, I ended up with five birthday cards. Five birthday cards. Um, one of them was made by a neighbour's daughter. Eight-year-old daughter. They invited me around and they cooked me a, uh, a dinner to, to go and collect last night. And I went around and because I mentioned it was my birthday, the little girl like did a you know, piece of paper and did a picture and everything. So that was really cool. I can't remember, I don't think anyone's ever done that before. So, um, so thank you very much um, for all the birthday greetings online. The Facebook, let's have a look, I just want to go to Facebook and the thing is I've had a lot of birthday greetings from people on my Facebook page, like my normal Facebook page. Um, in the past, I would get hundreds and hundreds of people posting on my Facebook page. But since I've stopped anyone from posting, being able to post because there's, there was a particular, I had a particular issue with someone just kept posting absolute weird stuff on there. Weird, weirder than my own stuff. So I had to quite get rid of that option for people, which is a shame, shame when one person messes it up for everyone else. But this year, for some reason, I've had loads of people send me birthday messages via the, well, messages rather than posting it, which I didn't expect. So it's literally, it's one, two, three, four, so it's been like over 40 on there so I was kind of surprised so that because you know what did surprise me is my auntie she's on my Facebook page I forgot she was on there and she sent me a message first thing in the morning which was nice I want to say a special thank you to Christine who sent me a, a, a card a birthday card so thank you thank you very much for that but my where is my auntie where is she she sent me a message I woke up to it on when on um, yesterday morning Monday 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 where is she what's her name again I can't remember oh yeah, there you go birthday greetings from Australia have a great day love from auntie how cool is that? I was just like, wow. Uh, last time she sent me a text message was December, end of December 2020. So I think I sent her a message and uh, happy new year. She said, thank you. Been a bummer of a year, but let's bring in 2021 with hope and cheer. Uh, take care of yourself. Lots of love. I mean, to be fair, um, my uncle, her brother, had passed away that year, so it had been a difficult one for for the family. Plus all the other stuff that went on in two thousand twenty. Don't know if you remember any of that stuff. Oh, yep. Let's move on. So I've got some messages. I'll read out the messages. Not the, not the message messages, but I'll read out the Facebook ones that I got did on my Facebook my group uh, Jason Newland's boring group on Facebook it's the most bestest place to go in the whole world <laughs> yeah I got 181 members and it keeps moving so I had 
Someone did leave and then they came back. And that was... I'm trying to keep track. I've got, I've got so many messages. Uh, okay, I can't find it. Oh, well. Can't, can't find who it is. Who, where, I can't find the message. But anyway, I want to say thank you. I want to say a big welcome to Mickey. Welcome. Hey, Mickey. Mickey, you're so fine. Come, welcome to the group. And if anyone else wants to join, if you, because I know that more than, more than 181 people have access to the group. But I don't know why they don't show up. Maybe they're not actually joined, but they got access because I sent the, I sent a, a message out to people inviting them and it hasn't, doesn't come up. So it's kind of weird. I'm not quite sure how that works. But anyway, welcome, Mickey. Uh, Chris says, I'll be listening to the newest Q&A. Q &A. So that's the Q&A Friday uh, that I did a couple of days back. But I can't seem to stay awake long enough to hear even the first question. <laughs> uh, I replied, Chris, sorry, I will try and make future ones a bit more exciting. And... Um, and Mickey writes, morning all, up and wide awake at 1pm in the afternoon. Isn't retirement wonderful? Oi. <laughs> Stop winding everyone up. <laughs> um, okay, Ben. Ben wishes me a happy birthday to the main man himself, JJ. Oh, thank you. And me. Oh, I've got some comments there, so I better look at the comments. Vinny's trying to... Vinny wants to go to sleep on the... Oh, he's laying down on me. Blimey, he doesn't normally do that. He's literally laying down on me, but he's... He was in bed earlier. And I swear, the worst smell entered my nostrils. And I turned around, and his bum was just face... It's like right at the back of my head. He was just... Like he thought I wouldn't notice. Why would he, he legitimately turned around? Like, he was facing me before that. So, uh, like, because I was facing the wall at that point. He literally turned around to let it off in my direction. And then he went to the bottom of the bed to get away from it. <laughs> he ordered a taxi. Take me to the other side of the country. Uh, okay, so if I look at all the comments... Happy birthday. This is from Ben. So, well, seen by 81 people. Blimey. Vicky says, happy birthday. Thank you. Dimitri, happy birthday. Best wishes and love. Thank you, Dimitri. Uh, I'm trying, I try to say thank you to everyone. If I haven't, it's just an accident, okay? It's one of those things. I do I try to um, post, like, a thank you to everyone, but I might have missed a few. Uh, I didn't mean to. Sorry. Christine, have a, ju have a great day, Juicy J. Thank you very much, Christine. Robin says, happy birthday. Thank you. So, oh, the next one is from Jenny. Happy birthday, Jason. I love going to sleep with you. Oh, saucy. Uh, so we've got six comments on that. Let's have a look at all the different comments. Dimitri, so do I. It's really something magical how Dr. Newland, I'm not really a doctor, I'm not. Magic, something magical about how Dr. Newland possesses this gift of pacifying the mind or bring it into such a calm and relaxed state that flowing into the that flowing into the embrace of Morpheus becomes so mild and so tranquil. And of course, once again, happy birthday to our hero. Wow. 
that's a that's a lovely comment thank you i tell you what um you, know, you talk about morpheus i was actually years ago i'm talking like in the early days of this back in probably the late 2000s my nickname used to be the sandman and it, it didn't really stick people used to use it and say we oh, or this like on youtube i think more than anywhere else you're because i used to send people to sleep even when they didn't want to go to sleep i'd send them to sleep and they used to call me the sandman and i genuinely didn't know what it meant when they first started calling me it because for me the sandman was the the villain in spider-man 3 was it spider-man 3 yeah spider yeah i think it was anyway it was a spider-man villain where a man was turned into sand and he was also in the latest spider-man as well didn't realize it had anything to do with sleep and i, I think i googled it and found out what it meant so yeah cheers uh philly philly says happy birthday august babies are the best yeah thank you i've got i've actually got two brothers and my stepmom all all in august and, and me of course so yeah it's it's quite a busy month uh, family wise tomorrow uh, next month i've got one there's one birthday my other brother's birthday is in september and then that's it for the rest of the year actually there's nothing else no mother's day or father's day or easter or anything in pretty much until christmas and that's it uh so karen says writes i hope you had the happiest of birthdays and it was full of all the things you love thank you karen uh, okay so that's uh, those comments include me so when i said how many comments there were so Brittany Brittany says happy birthday jason newland i've really been liking the q a friday posts keep doing what you're doing thank you um how many have i done now 21 i think i've actually done 21 q a fridays how i mean that's just i mean no really 21 that's a lot i mean that's not it's not allowed i mean if you counted to 21 it's it doesn't sound a lot if you had 21 pennies yeah it's not a lot you know but 21 that's bearing in mind i don't think i've done they're all at least like two hours long so it take you a full working week to listen to all of them it's just wow it's just like you know well over 40 hours that's what i mean probably over 40 hours of maybe longer to be fair and that's just the ones without music. With music, I mean, think 20. So it's 200 hours or 210 hours. Let's go to 20. So 20, 200 hours and then another 100 hours. So 300 hours, 340, 380 so nearly 400 hours of recordings uploaded and i've uploaded them to two different podcasts so it's 800 hours <laughs> so yeah they for some reason i don't know why but they they do seem to be fairly when i say popular i'm talking within my realm of popularity not not popular as in 
popular, but they seem to be a bit more listened to. That's a better word, isn't it? A bit more listened to than some of the other recordings that I do. Some of the, like, just the general ones. So, so I got uh, another message. Thank you, uh, Brittany, from Andrea, and that's Boston Chicky uh, to me. So it's Boston. So, Andrea, Boston, thank you. Happy birthday. Hope you're well. Uh, check out Boston Chicky on YouTube if you... She does uh, vlogs. I've known her for... <clears throat> oh, my voice is going weird. I've known Boston for a long time. And we were both doing vlogs. I used to do my Jason chats, and she did the Boston Chicky vlog. And I think she took a break, as I did as well. And she's back on YouTube, been back for a while. Check her out. I did post her YouTube channel on here uh, a little while ago. But she's she's one of these real people, you know. She just like to chat. And something that I didn't really know about her, or maybe I'd forgotten, is she's very knowledgeable very knowledgeable about medical stuff which I was thinking would be that's something that I think would be really cool for her to actually if you're listening Boston um, make some videos specifically on those subjects uh, as a as an education for e well, either for people who have those conditions or the general public, because there's no one better to to talk about something, uh, you know, uh, a medical condition, than either the person that has the medical condition or the person that helps to treat or educate people about the medical condition. So yeah, not me. Basically, I I'm the last person that should. <laughs> try and teach anyone anything because I don't know anything I know how to be boring but it's less of a skill more of an affliction um, for me Hillary, happy birthday GCJJ we'll send you a gift once I get paid thank you very much, that's lovely, thank you and Sarah says if you only knew how much you have changed my life in the past five to six years. I hope you have a great birthday. Wow. That's so lovely. Thank you. Um, I hope I replied to that one. I'll just put thank you. I hope you don't realise that was a... I, wow. That's, that's amazing. So it's really... I really do appreciate those kind words. So you'll hear me say it on here. Sarah, so um, Dimitri's on this one. Oh no, this is all. I want all comments, not top comments. Dimitri says I've discovered Mr. Newland, Doctor Newland's legacy for myself only this year, and yet it's already changed my life tremendously. Thank you. And Sarah answers Dimitri, listening to him is like listening to a friend. He stopped us. He stops us. He stops all those. I can't speak. It's terrible, isn't it? Which is a bit annoying because that's kind of what I'm need to be able to do. He stops. He's <sighs> listening to him is like listening to a friend. He stops all those worrying thoughts that used to stop me sleeping. Wow. And Dimitri says, I completely agree with you. Doctor, he's, you're determined that I'm a doctor. I'm not a doctor, remember. I know you're only joking, but I don't want to get sued for pretending to be a, a doctor. Uh, Dr. Newland's voice is always so soothing, so pacifying. He's got the real charisma, the superpower, as he himself refers to it. Oh, oh being boring, that is, not charisma. Um... By the way, Dimitri is not me. I haven't opened up a special account and just called myself a different name so that I can post nice things about myself. Although that is a good idea. 
Um, yeah, I think I might do that. Wow. Wait the next couple of days. You're going to be seeing some amazing stuff written about me. <laughs> He's got the real Chris Miller super. Um, the superpower to get people bored to sleep, but in no way it's a bad quality, right? Uh, quite the contrary. I can testify that this gift is is really helping through all the t turmoil and uh, uncertainty of my existence. And I believe many of us can witness to that too. Uh, well, thank you. Anne. Anne says, happy birthday. So I, I did reply to that. Didn't I reply to that? Thank you. Thank you, Anne. The reason I did only, well, I said thank you because I wanted to say thank you on here as well. Alison writes, happy birthday. It may be the start of a great, oh, may it be, not it may. It might be a nice year. You never know. May it be the start of a great year ahead for you. Thank you, Alison. Thank you very much. Kate, happy birthday, Jason. I said thank you, Kate. Kate is uh, the person who left and came back. She'd been been with us, uh, but she'd uh, accidentally removed herself from the group and then came back again. I nearly did that myself the other day. Honestly, I nearly removed myself from my own group, which is weird. Um, it's weird to say that as well, my own group. I know 181 people... Um, not a huge amount of people, but, you know, over the years, by the time I get to 90, it might be 200. Brittany, okay, I've already read that. This is from before, so I won't read that again. Although, oh, okay, right. This is something that Brittany wrote on the 2nd of August. The reason I read it out again is because someone's replied to it. Plus it's a lovely comment, so there. Uh, Brittany wrote on the 2nd of August, Hi, I'm new to this group. I recently joined because I've been listening to Let Me Boy to Sleep for five years. Wow. I have not, I've read this before, but it's, it's like I'm reading it for the first time. That might be a memory issue on my part. I have no idea how I stumbled upon this podcast, but I'm so lucky I did. I'm from Canada, so Jason's accent is mesmerizing to me. I look forward to listening to this every night. I started listening through Apple Podcasts, but have switched to tuning in through YouTube. I try to stay awake every time because I find you so entertaining and funny but your wonderful, slow stories about nothing at all, but everything at the same time are so soothing that I'm fast asleep after about 10 to 20 minutes. Please don't ever stop doing this. You're the best I've ever found. Oh, P.S. That she didn't write. Oh, that, that was me. That was me. I did that bit. P.S. I tried to find your PayPal account info, but was unsuccessful. I would appreciate it if you could provide it to me. I could go on for days, but I'll stop now. Jason Newland, hypnotist. You are incredible, and I truly appreciate you and the time you put into this. Uh, it put into this. Brit from Canada. Well, it's 13 comments. Okay. I've probably gone... Right, I've already read these out, so I won't read all the comments out, just because I just wanted to read out the latest comment, which was... Oh, maybe not then. That was three weeks ago. Oh, no. Ture Teresa? It was a comment to Teresa. Teresa wrote... Oh, right, should I just read them all out? How I'm getting confused here now. So Molly, uh, Molly, welcome, Brittany. How good is Jason? So thank you. I feel I'm just reading nice stuff about myself out, out about myself. Nice stuff. Read the nice stuff about me. And I tell you what, 
feels quite nice though. I should do this more often. Just spend the whole time just talking about how wonderful I am. Hmm, <laughs> there's a word for that, isn't there? It's called Jason. Welcome, Brittany, says Molly. How good is Jason? Okay, I'll do it in Molly's voice. Welcome, Brittany. How good is Jason? He's the best sleep podcast I've found. I've been listening for almost six years now. You've come to the right place. Um, <laughs> uh, Brittany says, Ah, oh, excellent, thank you. And yes, you're 100% correct. Nothing even comes close. Thanks for the link. Unfortunately, blah, blah, blah. Okay, right. So, Mike wrote, I've been listening from Winnipeg, Winoga. A fella, a fellow Winoga. Winoga, Winoga. What's that? I don't know what that is. I've been listening for about a year. So this is Mike. Winoga. What's a Winoga? I've been listening for over a year or so and find... Oh, a Winoga. That's not someone that listens to my podcast, is it? Come up with a better name. A Winoga. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Um... I've been listening to... Oh, is it Win, someone from Winnipeg? I've been listening for about a year or so and find that Jason usually puts me to sleep in under 10 minutes. In fact, I've been known to listen to an episode three to four times just to get to the good part and listen to Jason's story for that particular podcast. And Kathleen writes, Me too. And Brittany says, I totally agree. I hate that I miss all the talk, but I'm grateful for the podcast that the podcast does as advertised. It's funny to have another Winnipegger. Okay, so I'm guessing that's uh, someone from Winnipeg. Uh, Ah, another Winnipegger, nice. Winnipeg is actually not my surname, but I work in public health. And we were getting a lot of harassment online during the 2020 period restrictions. So I changed it on Facebook. So it was not so easy to find if you wanted to send me. Okay, right. Okay. Um, Diana says, mesmerizing. That's a much, by the way, if I miss anything out, you can always read it if you're on the group. But I just, you know, some of it's kind of personal mesmerizing that's a better word than boring says diana chris chris says no it's not boring you can stick your mesmerizing up your bum and uh, diana says that's rude i prefer mesmerizing much better than boring you could stick your boring up your bum and she says yeah do you want to fight about it <laughs> none of that happened i do apologize um Christy says he's amazing, isn't he? Can't really argue with that, can we? <laughs> um, I, I wrote thank you for your kind words. Um, Teresa says, oh goodness, JJ's head is swollen after all this love for Brittany. Oi, Teresa. Clearly it is, isn't it? Because I'm still talking about it. Blimey. Brittany says, ha ha, I hope so. He deserves it. If I weren't married, I'd be looking for someone that could touch their toes. Wow. That's a reference to a, a recent podcast. I remember that because I was quite pleased. I found it quite funny after I was talking about that. Uh, I wonder if you have come across someone with his skill in any of your groups. This skill in any of our, your groups. Okay, well, um, I honestly wanted to read out the last bit, actually, because it was a new comment, but it had nothing to do with my birthday, sorry. Uh, Sky says, happy birthday, Jason. Thank you, Sky. Molly, uh, let's welcome our new members, Kate. So, yeah, Kate did reply to that, and I said, I, f- I thought, I, yeah, I thought so, because she'd already left. She, she was already here before. 
Kathleen, yay, happy birthday, Jason. Thank you very much. And Christine, hope you and Vin have a great day. Thank you. And that is everything. So there was one thing which I found confusing. This is Christine. I'm not sure if you sorted it out. This was from oh, it's a while a few days ago. It was for the YouTube version of one thousand one hundred and seventy six. Let me boy to sleep first step mummy. Hi Jason. It doesn't say what date that was. Thirteenth of August. Okay, thirteenth, so it's a while back now. Hi Jason, just tried to listen to Archive twenty. Okay on YouTube but the sound of birds tweeting weren't boring me to sleep keep waking me up um, more like thank you for all you do I love the Vinsta you know what I used to get complaints used to get complaints from people on um, about my podcasts being too noisy with background sounds of the birds I mean, someone actually got angry, like proper, someone shoot those bloody birds, or someone get that pigeon. <laughs> um, it's like, come on, man. I, I, the thing is, I can actually go to sleep listening to the birds, because back then, in the early days of the, the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast, I used to be awake all night long, sometimes till seven in the morning and I go to bed and I'll be asleep during the day and I would go to sleep to the sounds of the birds and I like it uh, there's probably nothing sound wise as far as nature goes I like the sound of nature I think really any any kind of sound I, I like the sound of rain heavy rain Especially, oh man, heavy rain on top of a tent. It's like, um, it's like being massaged. It's, it's just, oh, beautiful. Uh, I love the sound of the wind. Uh, I love the sound of thunder. And I love the sound of the birds singing in the trees. So I kind of, I like all that stuff. I just, just, I mean, birds outside of the weather. So I love the sound of a storm. Even though it could be noisy and rattling things and maybe rattling the gate. And, you know, there's always a bit of uncertainty whether or not the tree's going to fall down. I mean, there's a huge tree in the garden. And if that went, the whole building would go. It's bigger than the building. But I just... I don't know. I just love... Love the weather... When I'm not in it. <laughs> when I'm in it... Eh, not so much. Yeah. Although the wind doesn't affect me... Because I'm... You know... I'm too heavy for the wind to really bother me. And we don't get... In this country... You know, unless you... If you're living in Dorothy land... Um... Kansas, then you know you've got twister season and twer well twisters yeah hurricane season and stuff like that. Then yeah, of course my body would be insignificant against one of those, but we we don't really get we we don't get that kind of weather here generally. We've had we have had bad weather, but generally. You know, even a strong wind can't really affect me. It can hold, it, it can a little bit. If it's wet, if it's raining as well, then that extra force of the rain kind of, and then, you know, having a big coat on can kind of slow me down. Not really slow me down because I'm very slow anyway. I'm really in a hurry, I'll be honest with you. 
Vinny's so calm. He's laying on me, he's half laying on me and also laying on the armrest of this settee because I'm on the left hand side of the settee and he's finally found a place that he's happy to lay because every other time that I've done this recording recently on this side of the settee which has only been for about a week or so he he fiddles he just like doesn't know where to go he fidgets sometimes he ends up lying on the floor because he can't get comfortable and I'm guessing that's because normally I'm on the right side and he knows exactly where he sits he's got two places he sits or lies down one is on the uh, the leg rest and the other is right up close to me where I'm sitting you know so he, he kind of just cuddles up to me there and goes to sleep if he's watching telly generally he'd sit on the on the uh, the leg rest he likes to watch telly as well. But today he's very relaxed. He's just nice and calm. I'm stroking his hair down to his body. It's lovely, isn't it, Vinny? Yeah? I, li I like this. It's weird because, well, it's not weird, but, you know, for quite a long time after first having him live here he really wasn't at all didn't like being touched really he still does not like being picked up that might be something that he's never going to like although he will let me pick him up sometimes if he's on the if he's on the bed he'll let me pick him up if he's on the if he wants to get onto the windowsill then he'll let me pick him up to put him on the windowsill and let me pick him up to get him off the windowsill even though there's a chair there now but in some occasions it'll let me pick him up or if he's had a little there's a dog he doesn't like or or a cat he's had a fight you know that scared him it'll, it'll let me pick him up but generally doesn't like it or if he's tired there's been occasions where he just fancies a break and I carried him home. You little lazy little bugger, aren't you? Eh? You little lazy sausage. You little lazy sausage. Yes, you are. So what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to talk about the psychology. But anyway, thank you. I do realise that there's a possibility that some of you... Well, some of the people that I've mentioned in this recording uh, and thanked haven't had a chance to hear. So, because um, you might have fallen asleep. So, I hope I hope you do get to hear it because, you know, I'm very grateful. It's, it's lovely to get nice messages and birthday wishes and things like that. And... It's, yeah, and also, on my normal Facebook page, I don't, I'm not sure how many people that send me messages even know who I am. I'm just on their Facebook page and I've been there for, since 2007. It's just one of those things, you know, I added loads of people when it first started on pain groups and all kinds of places to try and promote my free hypnosis service so I don't know how many people even know who I am that have sent me birthday wishes but I do know that anyone that's in this group well I like to think that anybody that's in the Jason Newlands boring group on Facebook actually know who I am and are active listeners otherwise there's no point being in a group to be fair this is only for active listeners. I mean, you can stay. Obviously, you can, someone can join and never listen to anything I do ever again. But what's the point? You know, there's no point having, as I do with, with Facebook. On, I've got a Facebook group or a Facebook page with... Let me have a look. 
the po- the reason I'm mentioning this because it just shows you the the kind of pointlessness of it in a way. So let's have a look. J, what's my name? What's my name? Jason Newland. So Jason Newland, hypnotist. Okay. I got twenty six thousand followers on there. Now, if I actually go to that page, and I post my stuff every single day, every time I make a recording, YouTube video, anything like that, I post it onto my page. And I get pretty much nothing, no response. So 26,000 likes, 26,000 followers, and hardly get, I said likes as in followers, but when I post something, zero. I get the occasional like, like there's one like there, three, Comment three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, six, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. All right, I have a few, but it's like it's, it's minimal, really. And it's generally the same person. It's Molly is one of the main people that actually comp that um who is it? Molly. Okay. So Molly, what about the other ones? What's the next one? Two. So let's have a look. Who's that? Molly and Philly. Another one got two. Who's that? Jacqueline and Molly. So there's it's kind of very very few. I think I need the toilet again. Blimey, I've had a bit of a bit of a dodgy stomach the last few days. Ashut Ashutosh, Jacqueline and Molly. The thing is, I think sometimes people like the the images. So I do <laughs> some of the images are quite good that I come up with. I think. There, um, especially if you like, there's a picture of a brain that I've got. Now I changed it, but what you don't realise is it's not just a brain. <laughs> and that was uh, was it? The brain fascinates me. That was uh, one thousand one hundred and seventy-seven. Let me boy to sleep. Fourteenth of August. The initial picture wasn't just a brain, it had other bits connected to it, and I changed the picture. So, yeah. That's it, really. Blimey. La 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 la. So, yeah. Uh, so that's that's kind of what I, what I wanted to talk about today, just to say thank you, really. Thank you for my birthday wishes. Greetings, birthday wishes, is that, yeah, I think that probably I'll call it that. And I tried out Twitter, so I've joined Twitter again, because I got locked out of my account, lost it. Been on Twitter since, I think, 2000 and... I don't know, 10, 7, 8, 9, I don't know. But couldn't get back in. Don't know what happened. Maybe I deleted it and forgot I deleted it and then it got deleted after 30 days or something like that, which is very likely. But I've not been able to get into it for a long time. It's like it doesn't exist, which makes sense if it doesn't exist, I suppose. So I re I made a new Twitter account. I've got no no followers, no friends on there or anything. But 
I tried out the Grok, uh, which is their AI on there, because I wanted to see what kind of images I could produce. And I watched this video on YouTube a couple of weeks ago saying that you can do stuff. It's really amazing, but it hasn't really... Well, I, I didn't spend too much time this morning playing with it. But it didn't come up with anything that was... that surprised me, to be honest. It, it came... Um, in fact, it even blocked because I tried to get some stuff and it said, no, inappropriate. Now, I thought it was supposed to be uncensored. What I asked for it to do wasn't necessarily inappropriate either. It was just uh, a lot of the AI. If you ask for something, um, I'm trying to think, and as an example, uh, something... <sighs> I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but there's been times I've asked for, you know, an image. Because, and it's like, no, inappropriate, can't do that. And it was never, I never, it wasn't in my mind inappropriate, which might have more to say more about my mind. But it was just, oh, really? Because when I get an image, I just occasionally I get one that's, perfect occasionally uh, first step mum that was a perfect image but I had to I knew what I wanted I had to try it took a while to get it but I didn't have to really change it around but quite often I get an image and then I have to edit it and mix it with other images and you know build build an image from different things different places so You're right, darling. Oh, you're getting, he's getting a bit restless now. You're getting restless. You okay? Yeah? You've been a good boy. Oh, Vinny, you haven't done another one, have you? Why have you got no... Stop pointing at me. No. It's like... Is, is it like... Is he thinks it's another birthday present or something. Vinny, don't... When you do one, don't point it at me. I don't want to smell it. Honestly, you're a bag of air at the moment. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a bag of air. Yes, you are. Bag of air. Bag of air. Bag of air. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, so I just, uh, just thought I'd... Oh, I could so easily go to sleep. Oh. oh dear. What is today? It's the 27th of August. It's Tuesday. Because I've done this so early in the day, I'll probably... I don't know. I might still release it in the morning tomorrow. But I might release it today. I might do the editing and... Because it's, it's still only 11 minutes past 3. It was 18 minutes past 2 when I started this. I think. Or was it 24 minutes past? Or was it half past? Or was it 10 to 9? I don't know. So. I'm trying to think something about. Something I was going to say, but I forget what it was. But anyway, it's it's weird. I do... A couple of people have said, like, I hope that I continue doing this. And my intention, really, is to continue. I mean, there's... I still... You know, there's still that kind of... Oh... I have doubts, and I like. Oh, is it really worth it? Is any is anybody really benefiting it? Benefiting it? Can't even say the word. Is anyone benefiting from what I'm doing, or is it? 
you know because on a level on a certain level it just feels that I'm talking rubbish for an hour a day or an hour per time or longer and that to me on a certain level seems a bit pointless but I don't know, maybe, I mean, this having, I don't know, it's just, it's, but then I get messages from people saying that it helps, that it's useful, that it's, it helps for relieving stress and the calm in your mind and for helping you to drift off to sleep because of just how tediously boring my voice is. I mean, I don't think... I don't know. Do you think that I've got a monotone voice? Do you think I have? I'm not sure if I have. I think my voice is very exciting. Very exciting indeed. I don't think it's tedious or boring at all. Or monotonous. What do you mean monotone? It's not monotone. It's not monotone. It's exciting. (laughs) I don't know. It's weird, because I guess I can't... I mean, I have listened to my recordings and I've fallen asleep to them. Every now and then, I need to listen just to kind of get in touch with what I'm doing and at least attempt to put myself in... in listener's shoes, as it were. But... It, yeah, it's it is boring, but I think it's in a way it's even more boring for me because I've heard it before because I said it. Although I don't really remember anything that I've talked about. I know today. So if I sometimes a problem with making a recording and then not editing it till the next day or the next morning, even that might only be like six ten hours later the I've forgotten what I spoke about uh, something one way of doing quite a getting a decent podcast image was when I used to transcribe every recording and then post that transcription into the to chat GPT and ask for an image that contains those or to get a summary and then have a podcast that contains those topics so Vinny's starting to be all barky so yeah this this is probably one of the most boring podcasts I've done for a while it's weird though because I never used to really class these as podcasts they were recordings like no when I made an audio because it was really I did do audios and then turn them into videos and I also did videos and then turned them into audios as well. So it was kind of a mixture of both right from the start, right from 2006. But uh, it seems weird because podcasts might be gone you know, in the future, but I'll still be here. My recordings will still be here still be on the website and the podcast might be gone by then what are you doing Vinny he's getting all restless now I think he needs to do you need to do something don't you I think do you need a poo poo or a wee wee do you do you need wee wees oh he's looking at me yeah you need wee wees do you oh he's cuddling me now he's all leaning all over my legs and on my body oh Vinny stroking his chest he loves having his chest tickled and stroked don't you Vinny Vinny? why do you keep saying my name daddy it's only me in the room (laughs) all right okay he went round we went round the neighbours yesterday 
and he was so excited, honestly, until he got to the gate. So he pulled me all the way to the house and their cat, they said, wait a minute, don't open the gate yet. The cat's here. And he heard the cat meow and he tried to leave. He tried to run away. Seriously, he tried to lead me away from the house because he doesn't like that cat. He's scared of that cat. They had an argument and the cat won. I don't quite know what happened because I didn't even know. There was at the other side of the, there was at the top of the garden and didn't know the cat was out. And I think he approached the cat and the cat told him off. And he came running. In fact, he hid. He hid in the bushes. He was, so I'm not quite sure what happened, but he's he's a little bit, um, yeah. And yeah, not a big fan of cats now, are you? Well, though he still gets excited sometimes. Like there's a cat downstairs, lives downstairs, and he wants to say hello to that cat so badly. I don't know. It's hard to really judge his, to judge his intentions. Although I have come to a conclusion that if he growls at a dog, then that's not a friendly thing. Basically. It's not a sign of it's not a sign of happiness or a sign of getting excited to see a dog. If he's growling, if he's on the lead and he's growling at a dog, then I move him away from that dog. It might just be a one off, it just might just be the mood he's in on that day. But you know, I used to try and kid myself that oh he's just happy to see the dog and He's happy to see everyone and, you know, he's he loves everybody. He loves all the dogs, but he doesn't. You know, there's some some dogs he doesn't really like, uh, especially the big ones, or some he's wary of. And he doesn't, although he does like humans, he doesn't love all of them. He loves a lot of them and he wants to say hello to nearly everybody, but those that are clearly not interested in him he doesn't bother with so if he's approached someone once and they've just carried on walking he ignores them he doesn't he doesn't want anything to do with them because they've made their intentions clear I guess to him that they're not interested and they're stroking his face hey it's quite weird he's let me play with his teeth. You let me play with your teeth. Your teethies. He's very cuddly today. I wonder why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Just stay there. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. He needs, I think he needs to have his uh, fingernails cut. Oh, he is a cutie though. Yes, you are, aren't you? You're a cutie. Although, just looking at your teeth. I'm just looking. Hey. Oh, you didn't like that. Okay. All right, calm down. Calm down. I have my finger in his mouth, I suppose. <laughs> I was just looking at his teeth, that's all. There's nothing weird about that. Is there? There's n he said, yes, there is. You wouldn't like me my finger in your mouth, would you? Yeah, good point. Good point. So, I'm going to go. I just want to thank you, everyone again. Thank you for listening, first of all, today. And thank you for all the other times you've listened. And again, thank you for your birthday wishes. It does mean a lot to me. And, the, you know, the, the lovely messages that you've left, that you've written. So... Thank you. This is one of those thank you episodes. Ah, <sighs> and I'm going to take this little one for a walk. So I get a response from him now. Finny, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you? Do you want to go? For, do you want to go for a walk? 
Yeah? You go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> That's a yes. He keeps jumping off and looking at me. Do you want to go for a walk? Putting his head from side to side. Vinny, do you want to go for a walk? Yeah? Do you want to? Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, now he's got, he's on two legs, looking at me with his hat, his paws up. Oh, he's so cute. I'll take a picture of you. This could be your, the picture for the podcast. Probably won't be. It could be, I suppose. So anyway, thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye. Wanna go for walks? Should go for a walk, come on then.